Hi, my name is Laura Flight and I'm a hydrologic technician in the Augusta, Maine office. This screencast video will show how to use sensor quick entry in SWAMI. This is an often overlooked feature that is useful for adding, editing, or viewing sensor readings. Readings can also be added, edited, and viewed with each sensor in the sensor inspection part of SWAMI, but in sensor quick entry, these same readings can be added, edited, and viewed from one screen. Sensor comments cannot be added in the sensor quick entry view and must be done in the sensor inspections part of SWAMI. Inspecting sensors is covered in a separate SWAMI screencast video. I can access sensor QE in the upper left hand corner of the screen in SWAMI PC and in the lower right hand corner on a PDA. Sensor QE is also accessible from within most other tasks in SWAMI. From the Site Visit Task window in SWAMI, I will select Sensor Inspections and then Sensor QE. First, let's show some features in this view. Use the horizontal scroll bar at the bottom left to view more information about each sensor. In addition, you can resize the column widths by clicking on the column divider and dragging it over, just like in Excel. If you have a lot of sensors at a site, you can use page up or page down buttons at the bottom center of the screen to view sensors and sensor readings that are off the screen. This is not the case in this example. Because it is best practice to inspect any sensor before adding readings from it, sensor readings cannot be added until that sensor has been inspected. Uninspected sensors will be highlighted yellow in the sensor quick entry view. As previously noted, this can only be done in the sensor inspections part of SWAMI. CSG sensors along with max and min clip sensors will be highlighted red because they are not editable in this sensor quick entry view. For purposes of demonstrating sensor quick entry, these sensors have already been inspected. To enter sensor readings, click on the blue time label to enter the current time or manually enter a time in the box. From the list of sensors, highlight the one you want to enter a reading for by clicking on it once. In this case, we selected our non-submersible pressure transducer, which is our primary recorder at this site. Then in the field next to red near the top left of the screen, enter the sensor's reading. In the field next to plus or minus, enter the uncertainty associated with that reading. For the primary recorder, since it is the measured value from the sensor and its uncertainty is inherent and not measurable, no value is entered. Then click Add. You will notice in this example there is a caret next to the reading's value of 5.32. This denotes it is the primary recorder as defined for this station in site visit. To enter the reference reading associated with the recorder reading, highlight the reference sensor by selecting it in the sensor list. Proper documentation of how this reading was obtained, including any calculations such as a tape up from a reference point, should be noted in that sensor's inspection comments. Remember, inspection comments are not accessible from the sensor QE view, only sensor readings. Don't change the time if this is the comparison reading for the recorder sensor. Simply enter the reading next to red and its uncertainty next to the plus or minus. If this is a reading from the primary reference gauge, select the checkbox next to primary ref and then click add. You will notice in this example there is an asterisk next to the reading's value. This is because we checked the box next to primary ref when adding this reading. In site visit, it is possible to mark a reference as always the primary reference so that that reference was selected from the list of sensors it would already be defined as the primary reference. You will also notice the uncertainty is not listed in this view. Rest assured, it is part of the sensor reading when viewed in the sensor inspection part of SWAMI and when uploaded to site visit. If we record a reading from an auxiliary gauge, a gauge that is not primary or the base reference, we would select that sensor from the list, enter its reading and its uncertainty, 
Leave the primary ref box unchecked and click Add. There will be no symbol next to this reading, and as before, the uncertainty is not listed in this view, but it is part of the sensor reading when viewed in other parts of SWAMI and when uploaded to Site Visit. Readings from all gauge sensors can be added, such as air temperature, water temperature, and ancillary recorders. In this example, we have an air temperature sensor that I also read at 1510. To enter another suite of readings from your sensors at a different time, click on the blue time label or enter a new time in the box. Then select the sensor you want to add a reading for from the sensor list, enter its reading, its uncertainty, select if it's primary, and click Add. Repeat this process for other sensors read at this new time. If sensor readings are read at multiple times during the visit, a scroll bar will appear below the sensor readings on the lower right half of the screen, letting you view other sets of readings. This is not the case in this example. If you need to make an edit to a sensor reading, select the time column the reading is in, then select the appropriate sensor in the list. This will load that reading into the reading box in the upper left. At this point, you can edit the reading, its uncertainty, or if it is primary, and click Add. Let's change 5.32 to 5.33 for the non-submersible pressure transducer. If you want to edit a sensor reading time, select the time column heading and right-click or tap and hold on a PDA to edit the time. Change the time, then click Done. If you want to delete the time and all readings associated with it, right-click on the time column heading or tap and hold on a PDA and select Delete. A word of caution, this deletes all sensor readings at that time. If a single sensor reading needs to be deleted, this is best done in the sensor inspection part of SWAMI. In the sensor quick entry view, it is easy to delete all readings taken at one time and there is no undo in SWAMI. Overall, from the sensor quick entry view, we can see all of our sensor readings on one screen to assess for possible needed resets or transcription errors. In addition, sensor quick entry can also be accessed for within other tasks in SWAMI. If you have questions on the process of using Sensor Quick Entry in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS website at the address shown.